Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post rate. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Sarif wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kazan reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. You sure? Looks like something. David's waiting, Adam. We shouldn't keep him. Are you coming? In a second. All right, all right, let's go. Don't want to keep the boss man waiting. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Sarif. Megan! Hold on. Oh. Still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading of the company. I'll ask All David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. 
Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. Huh. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admitted, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Oh. Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Yep. <clears throat> See you there. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait. I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT. And you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. Hello. This is the newest and encrypted GPL tracker. All right. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites every 10 feet. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental oh. malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. <sighs> oh. Gameplay. <clears throat> Pritchard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the micro -chem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment. 
failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! What's going on here? Oh, you all right, sir? What the? That's not good. Hello? When the lead starts to fly, it's wise to take cover. This will protect you from bullets and explosives. To shoot, peek out from behind your cover spot, either to the side or from above. Then take aim and fire. Whenever possible, use cover when moving around. Line of sight is important, and by keeping behind cover, You'll stand a better chance that enemies won't get a bead on you. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is how you aim down sights. Alright. Anybody home? That's not good. There we go. Do I have... Do I only have a saw rifle with me? Alright. Because I'd prefer to use a sidearm for the little, little fellas and then the assault rifle on the more serious threats. But it seems like I have infinite ammo, so... No looting yet. That's unfortunate. Oh boy. Anybody home? Doesn't look like it. Oh! I heard a door. That was probably probably my door. Alright. Nothing to worry about. Alright. Moving on to this place 
Oh! Are you okay, sir? Hey! What's going on, man? Oh! Who the hell is this now? Oh boy. That's the end of that.
Adam, it's David. You in the building? Yep. Just entered the lobby. Just arrived. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A What's going on? The Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. All right. My God, Mr. Jensen, I, I didn't think you'd. <sighs> Hello. Wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack. The attack. Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? I... I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Jensen. Go up the stairs to the second floor, then around the cafeteria to the exit. I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. You said everyone's been moved around? Almost everyone. Who are you looking for? Has my office been moved? No, sir. You still have that great view of the lobby. Mr. Pritchard wanted it, but Mrs. Margulis put a stop to that. Up two floors and make a right. Thanks. All right. That's what I'm here for. Anything else, sir? I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. Uh-huh. See you later. I know, but Jensen, isn't it a bit early to talk? Excuse me? Well, look at this. Finally decided to get off your ass, Adam. Glad to see you. For a while there, I thought you'd never walk again. It's good to see you too, pal. Whoever you are. keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Does I'll keep you up to date. Pritchard? About time. What happened? You got uh, stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Ah. Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your <clears throat> sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. <sighs> its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Excuse me? If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough... Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. Uh, no one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarah Sear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? 
point taken. See you later, Pritchard. Alright. Uh, to the office? There we go. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Pretty Good. close. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Understood. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Hello. Duty calls. Don't I know it? I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraf wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. All right. Let's do this. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. Mm. Alright. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Uh... I'm not about to take any chances. Lethal it is. But remember, they do have hostages, and I'd hate to see any of our people get caught in the crossfire. Ugh. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways. But the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So... Do you want something you can use from a distance, or up close? The closer the better, I think. That way I'll be sure they stay down. You got it. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Alright. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing.
gentlemen. You ready to go in? Good. Seen a few of them coming out for a smoke every now and again, so be careful. Jesus, finally. What's your boss hiding in that plant that's worth putting your own people's lives at stake, huh? I'm afraid that's uh, on a need to know basis. Oh? Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. Okay. See you later, gentlemen. Menus. Okay, go on. At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. Uh -huh. The inventory holds all the items you are carrying with you. It has a fixed size, which can be upgraded through augmentation. You can move sure. inventory items around, examine them, or combine them with upgrades. Sure. In the heat of battle, you can rely on the quick inventory instead. It allows you to quickly equip a weapon or change grenade type. How do you open it? The objective screen details your current menu. How do you open the quick objectives. menu? The log screen is a repository of all the emails and books. All right, all right. It's it's a basic RPG. We know what we're doing here. Um, inactive. Why isn't it inactive? How do you make it active? Um, examine. Diamondback. Often uses backup weapons by corporate security agents or law enforcement officers. The Diamondback 357 Magnum is a heavyweight, double action revolver with a swing out cylinder. I don't know why I'm reading this. Okay. Revolver ammo. What does this do? Replenish a single energy cell. Okay. Energy cell is my health, right? think so. Alright. So, so it's like cyberpunk, you know? Hold down Y, and you're good to go. Alright. Alright, let's do this. No. Friendlies. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things oh. change. What can I Not say? Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You'd know more about that than I would. Anything else? Intel on these purists. How much you got? How much you want? How much you got? They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycle military bill. You mean Which Gulf? Augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his odds made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or kill. How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen yeah. inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well. Someone inside must be tech-savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. Great. 
Uh, I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. You look pretty dug in up here. What's the react team plan? We got Alpha as point and Bravo as wing, both standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers, the sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. I see. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. Alright. Back to it, boys. About fucking time. You know about yeah, I, I, I heard as much. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, right. if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Getting too close to any guard is a risk. You don't say. There we go. Pritchard, I'm in. The door worked just fine. I'm happy for you. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. Why don't you? There we go. Jensen, I just tried yeah. to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. When All hacking, right. your goal is to take control of a device's registries, so you can access the security codes within. To do it, you must navigate the network, capturing nodes as you go along. Okay. You begin a hack from your point of entry in the system, the I.O. port. All to right. capture a node, simply place the cursor over it, and hold the interaction button. A wheel will appear, showing you the programs that can be used against it. Okay. Traveling from node to node is accomplished using bridges. A bridge can be unidirectional or bidirectional, as shown by its arrows. Okay. Each time you capture a node, there is a chance the network will detect your presence. The higher a node's rating, 
the greater the likelihood that you will be detected. If detected, right. don't panic. You still have a chance, you just need to hurry. The network will try to trace your entry point and boot you out of the system. If you manage to capture the registries before the network trace reaches your I.O. port, you'll be okay. Alright. Let's do this. Hack it. So this is our objective, right? Okay. Access granted. There we go. All right. That wasn't so bad. All right. Moving on to Hello? It's okay, it's okay. What's this? It's a bomb. What? the bomb squad? Save us! Alright, I got this, I got this. There you go. Dispersal device deactivated. Countdown terminated. Have a nice day. Pritchard, get word to Seraph. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe. And they're staying put. SWAT will have to expo them as soon as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Saraf, but don't take too long. Listen up. I need you all to stay calm, keep your voices down, and wait here for SWAT. The plant's not clear yet. Not clear? But those terrorists, they've got my wife! Your wife? She's the manager here. Josie, Josie Thorpe. They said they needed her to open the administration building. They were looking for evidence of some kind. Please, I haven't seen her since. You have to find her. All right, all right. I'll do my best. But right now, I need you all to stay here and wait for the police. Can you do that? Yes, of course. But please, hurry. You said they were looking for evidence? What kind of evidence? I... I don't know. They're purists. They think the body is sacred and shouldn't be tampered with. They probably want something that will implicate us in moral wrongdoings. Did they know about the typhoon? It's a top secret contract. How could they? And we only moved it in a few hours ago. Please, mm -hmm. I don't think they expected anyone would be working today. And now that they're backed into a corner, you have to find my wife, please. All right, I'll see what I can do, man. That was too close. Thank God they were going you to kill us. You so long. I don't think they were the cops. Right. You've got to find Is it over? Here. Thank He's you, God. God. It's over. I know you I don't said want I to have No All right, then. Well, another job well done, I guess. Coming in here to dig up shit is one thing, but to take innocent people hostage? Keep it down, man. No one's taking anyone hostage. So why did we lock them workers up in assembly room one? What the fuck? Hello? Piece of shit ass camera.
Ooh. Huh. Okay. Just, uh, we'll just forget about all that. Let's not worry ourselves about that. For now. Alright, here we go. Step away from the console. Now! Don't. Drop it. Help me! What? Oh. Son of a bitch. Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub. In case it's booby trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. There you are. Jesus. Any news yet? Zeke hasn't found any juicy secrets yet, if that's what you mean. But but he was positive we'd find something, something we could show to Pikes. Come on, Slick! to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same! You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different. Once they hear you had an AUG on your team, what? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hunter. I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, Mia La Vieja, we're leaving. That's... <laughs> Not gonna happen. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right! I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what I must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? Look, uh... You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there. But still, I know you're kind. 
I saw it a million times in the gold. <laughs> the only thing augmented goons like you care about is gaining the advantage. Just like the cops out there. I'd have to be stupid to do anything you tell me to. The cops will be looking after civilians. They're too busy to worry about you. But if something happens to her, you will get their attention. Their priorities will shift, and all you'll accomplish is getting yourself killed. Nice try. But if they're so worried about this og lover, then they'll make sure nothing happens to her, won't they? Don't. You've wasted enough of my time. That chink wirehead freak used my brother and screwed us over. Just like your kind always does. I gotta find out why, so shove off, dear box. This is your final warning. You've got more honor than the man who betrayed you. You're not gonna let your brother down like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Ugh, so obvious. Can't believe I didn't see it till now. He thinks he can just lead me to my death? Think again, cabron. Get out of here. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cabron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. I'm gonna keep looking Adam. until I find you. Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. <sighs> oh. Log in for this. Hey, do you mind? I just need to take a look around. It's uh, for security reasons. I'm sure you understand. Josie, as you know, we're in dire straits here. We need to fulfill several large orders for the alphabet agencies, the Typhoon being just the first of them. We depend on these contracts for a significant portion of our revenue, meaning that successful on-time production and delivery of these orders is absolutely necessary to maintain our bottom line. It is extremely important we make the necessary preparations to wrap up production in the plant. I'm going to need a detailed overview of this month's production schedule by the end of the of day tomorrow. Sorry about the last minute request, but I'm confident you know the drill. I have faith that if we knuckle down and pull together, we'll knock this one out of the park. Uh, 47 million. We are now ready to transfer the funds. Huh. Jensen? You're the guy who was sending before us? That's right. Thanks. Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. Now the bastard's free to spread his lies and cause more trouble. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but what about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs, and I overheard talk about a bomb. Don't worry, they're safe. It's fine. It's all fine. Oh, thank God. When those men surprised us, Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the Typhoon being moved in and all, I double-checked the protocols myself. Yeah, I expect Pritchard's doing the same thing right now. Stay here. DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a hero. 
Just a man doing his job, ma'am. See you later. Way to secure the terrorist leader. Where the hell were you in all this? Aren't you sir? Sorry, Mr. Thorpe. But the target is on lockdown. I... My wife. Is she all right? She's fine. She's in there. A little shaken up, though. Swab so will need to debrief her. We'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. Alright, man. Good luck with all that. Hey. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. 